The blueprint, seeping rage and you kill exuberance. Everybody loves the roof of a nuisance. Hit the earth like an asteroid, did nothing but you. Like the line I come. Do you fraudulent inject that collagen from your heart to your car? Pull up. Diamond busy shining with the bangles out. Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makarkodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect out there laboring on and believing in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makarkodash, to USA Shalom. This is the brother Amwan from the GMS Charlotte camp, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makarkodash. And this lesson I'm going to entitle, Are They Not Jake? All right, and, you know, I posed this question to Israel, you know, because I just so happened to come across these uh these pictures, you know, from Facebook. And in this picture, it says uh, Japanese vintage. It says Japanese gangs in the 80s. And upon looking at these pictures, okay, you can't tell me that these are not Jake, man. All right. You know, these goops don't have any flavor, all right? And we know as Jake, the scriptures describe us as being the salt of the earth, all right? So, you know, looking at these pictures, man, you know, like I said, I asked the question, are they not Jake, all right? Because we know that Jake, through the curses, were scattered to the four corners of the earth, all right? And you know our people, you know, we love women. So, of course, wherever we are in the world, all right, we're going to pop women and leave our seed, you know, where, where the, uh, wherever land that we're in, man. You know, that's that's our culture. All right. So with that being known, you cannot tell me that through the spirit, you can't see that these are Israelites, man. All right. Now, I just want to, you know, grab a few scriptures going into this, man. Okay. So starting here with Romans chapter 8, verse 16, it says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Okay? It said the Spirit beareth witness. And you can tell by looking at the spirit of these so-called Japanese people, okay, that they have the spirit of an Israelite because an Israelite, you know, has flavor or what you call in the world soul, Okay? All right, it's something about us that separates us from the rest of the world, which that separation it comes through the spirit, because we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, which makes us the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. That's why he surnamed us Israel or the Hebrew. It will be known as Yasharala, which means he is the prince of God or he is the prince of the power. All right. So, you know, this this automatically when I seen this, it jumped out like, yo. These are Israelites. You just look at them, man. Okay? And it's funny because you know how these gangsters are over here in America. You got the, you know, the Bloods and the Crips, you know, the, uh, we call the Folk, you know, uh, uh, MS-13. You know, it's all these different gangs, you know, that's, you know, uh, in, in America, with Jake, you know, going to. But this is just so happened to be over in Japan. All right, the Japanese gangs in the 80s. And they had, and they look just like Jake, man. All right. Specifically, you know, Northern Kingdom, like, you know, Issachar, man. All right. And to even prove this further. All right. There's a gang over in uh in Japan known as the Yakuza. All right. And when you go into the Yakuza, they heavily, you know, uh, give off a, a, a heavy... Uh, Mexican spirit, which we know Mexicans are the so-called uh, so-called Mexicans are the, are the Iscarites, you know, the tribe of Issachar. But this is just another way to show you that, man, hey, our people, wherever we are in the world, and our spirit is going to still, you know, uh, uh, show forth, man. All right, and that the number number one reason that is because of the, of the spirit that's within us, man, which comes from the man. All right, which so let me get that real quick. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. 
and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after the families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So, hey, the Israelites are all over because at the end of the day, all right, the man carries the seed, and wherever the man is in the world, all right, we're going to put our seed there, man. So it's going to be Israelites looking like, you know, uh, every nation because, as you know, our people, we love women, man, all right? And so all Israelites are not going to be so-called blacks, all right, dark-skinned black people, man, okay? Let me actually get this. This is Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9. It says, My heritage is unto me. As a speckled bird, the birds around about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. So the point being, the Lord says his heritage is unto him as a speckled bird. All right. And Israel comes in all shades, man. All right. Because at the end of the day, man, it doesn't matter on what you look like. At the end of the day, as long as this, you know, your seed goes back. To the 12 tribes, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. All right? You could look like whatever on the earth, man. Whatever heathen or land that you're in, man. Because with Israelites, as I said, we're scattered throughout the four corners, man. But the thing that separates us from the rest is the spirit that's within us, man. All right? Real quick. Matthew 5 and 13. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth. But if, salt, if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out, to be trodden under the foot of men. So it says that we are the salt of the earth, man. All right, we are what give this world flavor. And this is why, you know, all the, all the heathen in the earth are influenced by who? Jake, man. All right. And like I said, man, you got Jake all throughout the world, man. Okay. You can see it in these different, in these different uh, countries. All right. Who is Jake? All right. Just from the... You know how they act, man. All right. You got Jake in Africa. You got Jake in, in, in Elam or India. You know, China, Japan, Russia. Jake is everywhere, man. And that's all because of the curses that we are that we are in, uh, under, man. But even under the curses, our, our spirit still shows forth that flavor. All right. But at the end of the day, if you don't have this truth, all right, which is what really gives you flavor. All right. You're no good unto the Lord. So you got see now is the time for our people to return unto the, unto your house by Shemiah Shai. Because it doesn't matter that you're an Israelite or not in these days. Now it's about, all right, who was the Israel of the Most High? Who, who was the, you know, the, the servants of the Lord? All right? Because the two-thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed alongside the heathen. So it doesn't matter about if you are an Israelite or not, man. All right? It's about the election, man. Because all Israel is not going to be saved on this go-around. All right? Two-thirds are going to have to be reborn in the kingdom through the loins of the elect. But as of right now, you know, the Lord is only dealing with the elect, all right? And like I said, the elect, all right, has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So you're going to have brothers waking up looking like all different type of heathen, man. But at the end of the day, their spirit shows that they're Israelites, man. And that's what sets us apart from the others, man. All right? Let me get this real quick. Jeremiah 10 and 16. It says, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the right of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Right. So, all right, Israel is, is, is different from the rest of the heathen because at the end of the day, man, all right, we actually have soul. All right, it's our spirit within us separates us from the rest of these nations, man. And ultimately, everything in this world was created by Jake, man. You know, I brought up the Yakuza, but I wanted to, uh, to bring this out. All right, just real quick. Uh, what's it on here? All right, just speaking on the Yakuza. So just showing you. Let me see this. can't tell me that they don't look the same <laughs> as Issachar, man. All right? 
and understand a lot of the northern kingdom all right were brought over to the land of uh of asia as slaves man all right so hey you know our people wherever we are man we're gonna we're gonna you know leave babies over there man all right but it's something about our spirit that stands out okay all right, these, 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 uh, these gangs, even though we ain't justifying them, but they're just further proof to show you that, man, Jake is everywhere, man. All right? I just want to touch on us being scattered real quick before I, I head out. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, Jake is everywhere. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me get that in the curses to, to prove to you that that's, that's, you know, going on. That's what happened to Israel, man. All right? Give me one second. <laughs> All right. Um, Salakia, bear with me. All right, but this is this is another way to tell as well. All right, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 46. I'll start at 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee and they shall be a sign, like, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses, you know, are you know on our people wherever we are in the world not just america and that that's another way you can you know that you can tell you know that those are jakes man and the, the best example i always bring out you you could uh google it all right you google the uh the the dalit in india all right they they they're cast they're they're the dalit means undesirable all right but they're casted out from the rest of those indians now from a carnal eyes you will you will look you know at the at the Dali over there, and you would look at them as regular East Indians, but you know they're treated you know worse than the the uh, the other uh, Elam uh, Elamites that's over there, man. Because them Elamites know that there's something different about them. Because at the end of the day, man, those are Israelites, man. Okay, I'm trying to find the scripture. I cannot find it. All right, Salakia. Here we go. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So our people have been scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth. All right. Which shows you that, you know, this this is talking about the Israelites, man. All right. Our people are everywhere in the earth, man. All right. But now we're in the time where the Lord is about to deliver the elect out of the out of everywhere that we've been scattered to, man. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 3. That then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord thy power have scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out into the uttermost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee, and the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy father possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and even suck it, and multiply thee above thy father's right. So the Lord is coming back, you know, with the host of angels, which is the chariots, man, to deliver the the, the nation of Israel, the elect of Israel, so like it, out of wherever we've been scattered to all throughout the earth, man, because as we know, the land of the north, America, is going to, is going to be the, where the great deliverance is. But Israel is going to be getting delivered all throughout the world, man. And the Lord's going to put us back in our land, which is, you know, the land of Israel, after it's been cleansed, you know, from the devil that's over there. All right. So so America and Israel is going to be the main two places getting getting uh, nuked. And that's going to be the cleansing of that land. All right. And the Lord's going to put us back in the land. Okay. The land of Israel, man. All right. And there will we serve him. You know, 
the correct way we were supposed to, man. Like, the Lord's going to put the law, statute, commandments in our in our inward parts, all right? And we're going to, you know, serve the Lord how we were created to, man, all right? Never going off again, man, all right? But just, you know, submitting the point. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Just reiterating what I just said. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the strangers being the Israelite foreigners that have been scattered all throughout the four corners. The Lord is going to bring us together again, man. All right. The northern state, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom are going to be joined, joined together. We're going to be one nation again, man. All right. So we're no longer going to be scattered throughout the earth. All right. So that was mainly the point I wanted to bring out just once again. All right. Are these not Israelites, man? Okay. You look at them. It look just like the Northern Kingdom, man. Look like it's a Christ, man. So called Mexicans. You look at the women. Can't tell me this ain't Eve, man. All right. They got flavor, man. <laughs> you know, so with that, you know, I pray this lesson was edifying. I'm closed out by giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Mokar Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutations to the elect. Next time I say Shalom.